So the next step is to create a pretty simple signaling server using the socket.io library. So the first step is to install such library. I'm going to open the terminal and using npm we're going to install socket.io. Now let's add some code to server side. Going to app, going to open the app.js. Okay, so we need to define a variable here that is going to require the circuit IO library. This is the library that we will use to exchange the messages on the signal and server. Here we're going to set the HTTP listener. Okay, so now we need to connect to the IO library. And here we're going to define a couple of listeners. First, we're going to let the log to know that a user has joined to the engine. Okay, and now we need to create our listeners. The first one that we're going to create is this create or join. And here we're going to receive a parameter. And what we're going to do here is that our application is going to consist of multiple rooms that can be used for a one-to-one -one call. So in this handler, we're going to try to create if such room doesn't exist, or we're going to join if it does exist. So the first thing we need to do is to count how many users are in the room right now. So we're going to show that we are trying to create or join to a room. And we're going to show the room. And here we're going to count how many users the room has. So to do so, we're going to access a couple of properties that the IO object has here. Looking for the name of the room. And if the room doesn't exist, we're going to make sure that we receive a proper value. So to get the number of clients, we're going to access the length property. And we're going to show how many users the room has. Number of clients and let's say that those are clients. Now, depending of on the number of users in the room, uh, we're going to emit or, or return a different response. If, for example, the room uh, doesn't exist, it means that it doesn't have any users. In that case, we're going to create the room. We create the room by simply joining to it. But we're going to let the user that create that send this request that the room was created. So we're going to send the created message. And we're also going to send the name of the room or, or the number of, of the room. On the other hand, if there is already a user in the room, this means that if number of clients is equal to one, then instead of creating the room, we're simply going to join and we're going to let the user know that instead of creating, he has joined to the room. For that, we're going to send a joint message. If there are already two users in the room, then we are not going to allow another user. We are just going to emit a full message. Okay, 
we're also going to need a couple of other a couple of other handlers for other types of messages so this one is going to be for on ready message in future videos we're going to see what this ready message is about and in this case we're going to broadcast the message to all the users in the room and what we're going to send is also a ready message I'm going to add a couple of these most of them looks really similar so I'm going to speed up the video but you can later uh, pause the video to be able to copy them uh, correct correctly Okay, so now you should have this uh, couple of functions in your code. Now we need to modify main.js in order to be able to connect to our signaling server. So let's open our main.js file and we will add some code in here. We need to set a constant called socket that is going to connect to the signaling server and we're also going to modify our else statement instead of getting the media device here we're going to cut this and we're going to set the room number equal to the input root number volume and we're going to send a message to the signaling server so that the signaling server can have that information and send it to the other peer if that is required. So we're going to send the create or join message along with the room number. And finally, we will add a handler for receiving the response of the server. In this case, the message that we're going to receive is the created message. So we're going to add the handler. We're going to receive the room number. If you can recall, we are sending the room number in here. So, and, and what we're going to do here is to get uh, the user media and we are going to do another thing we're going to define this user as the caller so we're going to set this caller to true now before running the app we need to add something to our index html and that is the reference to the socket io engine by creating a script tag And we're going to put here socket.io and then another again socket.io.js. Okay, now we can run the app. We're going to update and now we can put the name. We can see that is working so now we need to be able to communicate with both peers and create our RTC peer collections when you're ready move to the next lesson